and the markets really a nice rally, kind of a relief rally. I felt that we were a bit oversold, but we did have a really nice week this week. Yeah, on our investment committee, we were talking about this last week as far as how things were looking a little too glum. We were watching a lot of the uh, trading indicators that we like to watch as far as sentiment and the such. And it all it really took was a little good news out of the U.S. Treasury as far as their plans for debt issuance. And then Chair Powell to actually sound a little bit more like a chicken instead of a hawk when it came to the monetary policy statement that came out on Wednesday to really set things on fire. Yeah, there was a lot of birds, and I don't want to sound like a dodo bird, but <laughs> up 6% on the S&P, really a nice week. In fact, even on Friday, closed positive. And you know, part of that, let's go back to your chicken analogy, the treasury yields came down significantly. Mm -hmm. In some cases, 40 or 50 basis points in treasury market, that is an enormous move. It really is, especially when you consider those longer dated ones, uh, the 30-year treasury. If you see a big move like that, I mean, that is some great gains. Those are equity-like gains that you see there. But that follows a few months' worth of equity-like losses. Uh, The bond market has been a real source of volatility, probably a real source of worry for a lot of investors. And I think a lot of it just has to deal with back in August, the U.S. Treasury, they announced that they were going to be issuing a lot more debt. We know that there's problems as far as with deficit spending, the level of the debt, the interest rates that we're paying on it. And you have this vacuum of buyers. The Fed has been doing quantitative tightening, meaning they're not captive buyers of U.S. Treasuries. And so you have more supply, you have less demand. That's just a formula for those yields to go higher. But we got a bit of a reprieve of that. So maybe those fears were a bit overdone. On our investment committee, we actually thought that when bond yields started going up towards that 5% level, that could represent some decent long-term value for investors. And, and I do want to talk about that. Maybe we'll do that in the next segment. But of course, Janet Yellen saying what she said about interest rates and, and the issuance of debt just doesn't make sense to no. us. But let's focus in on a couple of things. And that is a Of course, the Fed had an announcement this week and Chair, not Chair Yellen, who was the previous (laughs) chair, but uh, currently Chair Powell was a bit dovish or chicken, Mm -hmm. as you as you like to say. And the fact that it looks like a dovish statement. And here is the key. The interest rates that the Fed now has are above market rates, and that has always been an indicator. Mm -hmm. It really is. The Federal Reserve now has their target rate at 5.25 to 5.5 percent. That's where it's been since July. So if this is indeed a pause, the Powell pause, as we like to call it, we're about four months into it. When we look at history, go back to, say, 1995, the Fed was able to hold rates at that high level for about five months. Now, we're not saying that the Fed is going to start cutting, but we are in that pause period. At some point. At some point, they will. And the market is beginning to bet that it's going to be more of a mid-2024 story when they're going to start cutting rates. And that's the dot plots, or the dart plots, as I like to say. (laughs) You know, when do they guess that it's going to happen? But, you know, we just set up for the best week of 2023 this past week in, in equity returns. And, in fact, interest rates coming back down, people's portfolios will look better when they look at them this past week than they have before. The last piece I do want to get to real quickly is the Labor Department came out with their payroll report, and it was as expected. Wage growth was down, and it's something that we haven't seen in manufacturing, but of course, those numbers were down as well in participation All of those shows that the Fed's goal of raising rates has worked. 